Hi everybody and welcome back to MyUncleDan.com We're doing more prepositions of time again and this is part four. Now this one's very important. It's important to know what preposition to use when talking about time and which one you need to use. However, it's also very important to know when not to use a preposition with time. So, here we go. Here are the rules for not using a preposition of time. There is no preposition of time if the day or the year or the specific time has the words each, every, last, next, or this before it. So, that's very important. I'll say it again. There is no preposition of time if, only if, the day, year, or specific time they're talking about has the word each, every, last, next, or this before it. Let me show you a couple of examples. The first example, I go to England every Christmas. You would not say not at every Christmas. So, you would never say I go to England at every Christmas. <clears throat> you would say I go to England every Christmas. So, no preposition. Next example, I'll see you next Monday afternoon. Not on Monday afternoon. Now, a lot of English speakers will say on Monday afternoon, but grammatically that is incorrect. The correct way is to say, I'll see you next Monday afternoon. Not on Monday afternoon. Okay. So, again, remember, if before the specific time in the sentence is listed, if it has the word each, every, last, next, or this before it, in front of the word, in front of the time, do not use a preposition. I'm going to step out of the way, and I want you to pause this now. Okay. I suggest you write that down and put it in your notebook for later reference. My name is Uncle Dan. This is MyUncleDan.com. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you at the show.